breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Arrow 5 fought back tears as he buries his daughter. El Rufai fought back tears as he buries his daughter. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read to this news. The stilly character of the former minister of federal capital territory, Malam Nasir El Rufai, was broken yesterday at the interment of his first daughter, Yasmin, who died in London six days ago. Emotions ran all over Rufai, who fought back tears when sandwiched between his son, Sonny, and friend. Pat Ezekwe Sili and other family members at the graveside when the ministering cleric, Mohammed Kabiru, exalted the sympathizers about the inevitability of death. That is inevitable, and we should all be prepared for it. The only exception is that we don't know when and where it is going to happen, Kabiru said. He prayed to God to grant the late Yasmin our Janat fathers and gave the family the strength to bear the loss. Yasmin was lowered into the grave in line with Islamic traditions at about 10.30 a.m. at the Guarimpa Muslim Cemetery, Abuja. A horde of political dignitaries and associates from across the country thronged the Erufai's Asokoro residence early in the morning to commiserate with the family and pray for our soul. From the home, the body was then taken to the National Central Mosque, Abuja, where the chief imam conducted a prayer service some of the visitors who consoled the Erufais included former military head of state, Major General Muhammad Buhari. Buhari, who was also the presidential candidate of the Congress for Progressive Change, CPC, in the last general election, visited the family and attended the service at the Central Mosque and the cemetery. Also in attendance was the former chairman of Antigraft Agency, EFCC, as well as the presidential candidate of the Action Congress of Nigeria, ACN, in the last general election, Malam Nuhuri Badu. He was accompanied by his vice presidential candidate, Mr. Fola. Adeola. Others were the former governor of Bauchi State, Ahmed Mukharzu, ex governor Danjuma Gojer of Gombe, Gombe State, former chief of army staff General Abdurrahman Dambazao, retired, former defense minister and secretary to the federal government Alehaji Yahyale Ahmed. Former Minister of Police Affairs, Waziri Mahmoud, and former Minister of FCT, Modibo Aliyu. Also at the occasion were former Minister of Aviation, Femi Fani Kayode, Business Mogul, Alhaji Isyako Rabiu, former Chairman of United Bank of Nigeria, United Bank of Africa, UBA, Mr. Kim Belo Osagi, businessman, Riskat, Muritala Mohammed, and principal secretary to the president, Ambassador Azan Toko. While speaking with reporters, 
Ribadu and Fanny Coyote described Yasmin's passage as a painful loss. They both thanked the people for the outpouring of love for Erufai. Ribadu recalled last seeing the deceased in June in London, describing her as a very precious girl. She was a good girl, a gift of God, the first daughter of Erufai. It is a painful loss, but that is how Allah wished, and that is how Allah wanted because He takes and gives, and we can't say anything other than to say thank you for the good life. Yasmin's body arrived in the country yesterday from London where she was found dead in her house last Sunday. The 25-year-old Yasmin held a bachelor's degree in economics from the University of Bath in the United Kingdom and a master's degree from the London School of Economics, LSE. She also had a law degree from the University of London. The stilly character of the former Minister of Federal Capital Territory, Malam Nasiria Rufai, was broken yesterday at the interment of his first daughter, Yasmin, who died in London six days ago. Emotions ran all over Al Rufai, who fought back tears when sandwiched between his son, Sonny and friend. Part is the Kwesili. And other family members at the graveside when the ministering cleric Muhammad Kabiru exalted his sympathizers about the inevitability of death. So, my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section. And let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.